Hello. Today we're starting the while loops chapter in Learn to Code. We're doing the first activity, running code while. So while loops, let's talk a little bit about while loops before we get going here. While loops are probably my favorite construct in computer science. Uh, for loops are great. They're very powerful. They allow you to do some sequence of commands over and over and over again some number of times. Now a while loop, I think, is more representative of problems we have in our everyday life. So I tend to like them a little bit more, um, but they have, each have different uh, strengths. So while loops, if you think about it, a while loop lets you run a sequence, a single command or a sequence of commands over and over and over again as long as some condition is true. And really, when you think about it, that's more like our everyday activities. So, for example, um, you may have been told to brush your teeth for two minutes. Um, so your plan for brushing your teeth then is you, <clears throat> you don't say, I'm going to brush my teeth, you know, 147 times. You probably would say, as long as I haven't been brushing my teeth for two minutes, I'm going to keep brushing my teeth. Or, as long as I haven't gotten to all my teeth, I'm going to keep brushing my teeth. Something like that. Similarly for doing dishes, right? If you, you don't usually count all the dishes in your sink and say, well, I have 14 dirty dishes, so I need to uh, keep washing dishes until I get to the 14th one. What you do is you say something like, if there's still a dirty dish in the sink, I'm going to keep washing dishes. <laughs> so you keep going until they're all done, right? Similarly, a bunch of dirty clothes on your floor or something like that. You don't say count, usually count up the clothes. You say, as long as there are still clothes on my floor, I'm going to pick them up, okay? Uh, playing a game, uh, you know, there might be there might be games where there's a certain number of turns in a game, but usually games last until some condition happens where someone may be the winner and someone may be the loser. So usually what you do is you say, as long as uh, the game's not over, I'm going to keep playing this game. Okay. So notice there I used the phrase as long as, right? That I'm going to use that interchangeably with while. They mean basically the same thing, which is while some condition is true, I'm going to keep doing these activities. Or as long as something is true, I'm going to keep doing this. All right. So let's try this with a, a puzzle here. So we have this puzzle here. The goal says we're going to use a loop to keep moving while not on an open switch. So our condition is as long as we're not on an open switch, we're going to keep moving and toggling uh, open switches. Okay, so we have a, uh, a bunch of switches that are closed and we don't care really how many of them. We could count them and do this in a for loop, but this is going to change every time we run this. So what we would really like to do is say, as long as we still have uh, closed switches to toggle, then we're going to keep toggling them. Okay? Or in this case, since there's always an open switch at the end, we know we're done when we're at the open switch. Or another way to say that, as long as we're not on an open switch, we want to keep doing something. Okay? So here, let's say as long as we're not... Remember the not sign is this, not is on an open switch. As long as we're not on an open switch, we want to move forward and toggle the switch. Okay, toggle the switch. Now this move forward and toggle switch will keep happening until we're uh, on an open switch. Because we said as long as not on an open switch is true, we're going to keep doing this. Well, when that's false and we are on an open switch, we will stop doing that. Okay. Now let's really quick before we run this, let's look carefully and see. Let's try this for the first, just mentally try this for the first, uh, the first iteration or two. So uh, here we say, are we not on an open switch? And we're not, right? We're standing here on a closed switch, so we're not on an open switch. So the first thing we're going to do is move forward and then toggle the switch. Well, that's going to be a problem, isn't it? 
because we'll leave the switch that we're on right now, it'll still be closed. We want to open that one first before we move forward. So maybe these two things are not quite in the right order. Okay. Always a good idea to mentally try out your, um, your plan here before you, before you run it, just to be sure you don't miss something like this. So let's try putting this move forward at the end here. Okay, and let's try this again. So as long as we're not on an open switch, we're going to toggle that switch and then move forward. Okay, and so when we move forward, the next time we try this, we're still not on an open switch. So we'll toggle that switch and we'll move forward. And so on and so on and so on until at the end, here we are on an open switch. So we'll stop toggling switch and move forward. Okay, let's give this a try. And I'll go ahead and run this code, stepping through the code so we can watch the loop happen. Uh, this says we have a uh, an error in there, and this error is I've got a space between my exclamation mark and my uh, Boolean condition is on an open switch. So here it says, do you want to replace the space with no space? Okay, yeah, let's do that. Let's have uh, the playgrounds fix it. There we go. Now it's fixed, and we'll run it again. Okay, the puzzle came up the same way this time. And we toggle the switch, we move forward. We toggle the switch, we move forward. Because we're not on an open switch, we're going to keep toggling the switches and moving forward. So hopefully this will stop when we are on an open switch. Okay, there we go. It worked. Let's try it one more time because this puzzle changes each time. So let's just be sure this works each time. Uh, try to get a different configuration. There we go. Okay. So oh, good. This works for probably every possible uh, time this thing could run. Um, one other thing we should think about here, this condition while we're not on an open switch, uh, I'm going to run this uh, just to set us back to the beginning. Okay, look at this again. Another way we could maybe say this, uh, which is just as true, would be something like while we are on a closed switch, instead of not on an open switch, as long as we are on a closed switch, we want to keep doing this toggle switch and move forward. That's another way to say that. So uh, sort of the opposite of not on an open switch would be while we are on a closed switch, is on a closed switch, we want to keep doing that. So uh, that will be true. We're on a closed switch. That will be true, 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 true all the way until here, and then we're not on a close switch anymore, so we'll stop doing the while loop. Let's try that. While we're on a closed switch, we're going to toggle the switch and move forward. There we go. Now we aren't on a closed switch, so we'll stop. So this is one of those things, it's a personal choice, however you like to write that. Do you like to think of it as, as long as we're on a closed switch, I want to keep doing this? Or do you like to think of it as, while we're not on an open switch, I want to keep doing this? Okay, okay, that's it for this time. We learned what while loops are. That means as long as some condition is true, in this case is on a closed switch is true, we keep doing the commands that are in this block of code here. All right, see you next time.